Hey guys, welcome back. I am Mario Vegas and you are watching Tank Zone. I have received a couple of messages from you guys regarding mechanized infantry. I would like to thank you all for your great support and your interaction. You are great. Thank you. So, therefore today let's uh, take a look at Armored Warfare Mechanized Infantry Anti-Tank Squad. It's armament and game tactics. So, if you are ready, then let's start. And let's start with a short armament review. Anti-Tank Squad is armed with a portable 84mm AT4 single shot recoilless smoothbore high explosive anti-tank missile launcher systems. The AT4 itself is a 84mm unguided anti-tank weapon manufactured by Saab Bofors Dynamics. Its place of origin is Sweden. Research on this weapon started in uh, 1976. AT4 was designed uh, uh, by uh, Foreign Aid Fabrics Werken Enterprise and developed as a weapon to engage medium uh, to light armored vehicles from any direction, uh, main battle tanks uh, from the side or rear, and uh, as an uh, assault weapon against uh, buildings and fortifications. AT4 proved to be uh, simple to use, durable and far more accurate against moving targets than its predecessors. Uh, Sweden field tests uh, were carried out uh, during uh, 1981 and uh, 1982. At the same time, uh, US Army carried out its own tests uh, along with uh, anti-tank systems from other manufacturers, uh, comparing them in search for a new anti-tank weapon. It's proven to be satisfying and after a couple of improvements was adopted by US Army as a lightweight uh, multi-purpose weapon known as M1. Three, six. Uh, the Swedish army also recognized these improvements and adopted the Americanized version of the AT4. Uh, there are a couple of AT4 variants uh, which can be armed with a variety of projectiles, like high explosive anti tank designed uh, to penetrate uh, up to 420 uh, millimeter of homogeneous armor, high explosive dual purpose uh, for uh, use against uh, bunkers, uh, buildings, enemy personnel and armor, extended range, well uh, self-explanatory name uh, with an extended range of fire up to 600 meters, HE, which means high explosive anti uh, personnel weapon uh, that can uh, be set for impact, or a burst uh, detonation uh, with uh, an impressive effective range up to uh, 1000 meters, anti structure tandem warheads uh, designed for urban uh, warfare, and HP, uh, abbreviation for high penetration projectile, which is capable uh, to penetrate up to 600 millimeters of homogeneous armor. And this is the one uh, we can see in the game. Uh, this weapon entered service in uh, 1987 and it is still in use in more than 20 countries around the world. Uh, AT4 is one of the most uh, common uh, light anti-tank weapons in the world. Uh, between its operators are countries like Argentina, Denmark, France, Greece, Ireland, Latvia, Malaysia, Sweden, UK, USA and others. Uh, its service history includes conflicts like uh, Soviet-Afghan War, Gulf War, uh, War in uh, Afghanistan and Iraq, Syrian civil war and some others. Uh, so, as we can uh, see, it's a popular and well-known missile launcher 
And uh, now let's take a closer look at our anti-tank uh, squad troopers. Uh, squad consists of uh, four troopers armed with already mentioned AT-4 missile launcher systems uh, with a high uh, penetration heat warheads able to deal up to 200 damage. As they uh, have an excellent 63% uh, camo and are able to uh, detect targets uh, within a 260 meters uh, radius, they can be very effective for setting up ambushes. Uh, squad can serve as early warning defensive outpost or be an effective backup fire uh, for your assault. Well, it all depends on how, where and when you deploy your anti-tank squad. Uh, following is my personal experience and uh, gameplay style. And uh, as we know, there are no set uh, permanent uh, or correct rules Move for out. tactics uh, on how to play. All tactical shooter gaming, uh, same as a real uh, warfare, is based on ingenuity, adaptation to never-ending changing environment and deception. So, do not take it as a rule, okay? So, when I play with mechanized infantry anti-tank squad, first thing I always think That's of cool, is cool. Um, how I can harass enemies as anti-tank ambush. And there are a couple of uh, requirements for success. Number one. Top priority is concealment. Your squad should be concealed. And the easiest way to do that uh, is to deploy those guys in the vegetated areas, like bushes. Number two, they should have a good vision firing sector into direction you want to set ambush. Bear in mind that anti-tank squad do not have mortars, uh, they cannot hit targets indirectly. Anti-tank squad can deal only direct fire using their AT-4 missile launchers. And number three, sometimes when I deploy the squad they tend to run and crowd together in uh, one small spot. Same as in real life it is not good in a game as well. Too many troops together mean that one explosion uh, may kill them all at once. So, uh, try to adjust their spacing by um, uh, carefully approaching them with your vehicle and you will see that they will spread out. If situation requires, you can uh, set up anti-tank squad to serve as a frontal observation post uh, which uh, at the same time will act as a ambush as well. Uh, in this case simply drop your uh, troopers in concealed position and then roll back some 50 to 100 meters. So uh, they will spot enemies for you and others and will act as an additional barrier between you and the enemy. Another variation include anti-tank squad use as a backup covering fire support. Before going into assault, it is wise move to deploy them on elevated position, preferably concealed, of course. In this case, they will serve as a backup fire while you will encounter enemies ahead and as effective covering of fire and ambush uh, if you will be forced to retreat. Another good way uh, how to utilize your anti-tank troopers is situation when you encounter enemies ahead and you are pinned down behind the mound. In this case very often you can be successful by utilizing troopers camo factor and vision range. Remember 63% camo factor. So very often in these situations Deploying them over the mound, you can easily swing enemy's advantage by 180 degrees in your favor. When you deploy the squad, releasing them near the edge of a mound, you may turn 
because of an encounter because now your troopers spot enemy and enemy receives your troopers and your teammates fire another way is to deploy your anti-tank squad in concealed position stay nearby them in concealed position and spot enemies with your vehicles optics for your troopers to target and if you want you can designate a specific target uh, for troopers to attack by aiming at the target and pressing the infantry command key by default it is the key of the letter v <laughs> well believe me sometimes those guys can deal even more damage than you would be able to deal with your rockets plus you are not giving away your position at all and say after dealing uh, with a cluster of enemies uh, you can uh, redeploy your squad and do the same thing from a different position and no no it is not coveredness uh, in taking and using advantage in warfare so use your advantage whenever and whatever way you can another way to deploy your troopers is to deploy them in ditches shallow canals by streets or behind corners uh, personally i do not play this particular way but i saw that other guys deploying them so and once uh, my own vehicle was hardly damaged and stopped uh, at uh, one of the canals at um, armored warfare port map that time uh, enemy's troopers ambush shaved my AFV's health so much that I uh, must wait for teammates help before continuing advanced because uh, if I would try to eliminate those troopers alone they would finish me uh, so yes uh, if deployed right and uh, with the ingenuity anti-tank squad can be very useful and very serious threat I personally enjoy playing uh, with mechanized infantry, it's fun, uh, it uh, diversifies your gameplay up through the roof, uh, it makes uh, you move and think sometimes even faster than if you play uh, with other vehicle types. Very often you must uh, redeploy your troops, change tactics based on situation, uh, development and of course uh, be highly careful not to be spotted while deploying the squad. Uh, squad deployment is uh, a very crucial moment uh, because you must be stationary while deploying your squad. So that would be more or less uh, all about uh, Armored Warfare, Mechanized Infantry, Anti-Tank Squad. I plan to make a separate uh, similar video about uh, Mechanized Infantry Sniper and Mortar Squad as well. I hope that you enjoyed this video, if so, aim at the thumbs up button, hit the bell and subscribe. That's all for now, stay tuned, thank you for watching this video, have a good day and see you next time.